Hi and welcome to Game Creation and today we're going to be trying to adapt our game so that we can test it out on different monitors. Now we discussed yesterday that there are loads of different monitor types out there and um, at the moment I have two different types of monitor. These three are all 1080 monitors which is 1920 by 1080 pixels. This one's a 4K monitor which is nice. Uh, which means it's twice as wide and twice as tall in resolution. It's not actually twice the size of that one. It's slightly less than twice the size of that one. Um, but it's all to do with um, kind of the pixels on the screen. The pixels on that one are just closer together, but there's twice as many pixels horizontally and vertically, and therefore there are four times as many overall. Anyway, um, the problem we have is that it will just, when I launch the application, it just goes full screen straight away. And so I can't test smaller devices. Now, I'm not really worried about my game supporting 8K at the moment. So what I might want to do is test it on the 4K. And then what I'll do is I'll shrink it down and test to see that all resolutions uh, work. So mobile phones and tablets and everything. And what, what I'm gonna do is just literally scroll it across. I'm just gonna resize it and just check everything. Um, so every time I'm testing from now on, I'm gonna get that scroll bar, the scroll bar and just, not the scroll bar, the resizer, and just resize it and just check everything works nicely. And so that will become part of my testing phase, is does it work on a phone, does it work on a tablet, does it work on a, a monitor? Um, now, I, I, I'm not going to use the 4K, I would in development, I, that's why it's there, so I can test the maximum size resolution. Um, but I'm only going to test it in 1080 because I'm going to do everything on this monitor because it's a, a lot easier um, to put it out onto YouTube if it's nice 1080 for everything. So, actually, oddly enough, my camera is 4K, I could do everything in 4K, but I just don't want to, I don't know why. Um, <laughs> so, let's get started. Um, so, you can see uh, we've opened up the same game thing we were using before, and you can see here that when it opens up, I've designed it so that it, you can't resize it. So it's nice and full screen, and then I can walk around, and everything's working perfectly. Um, but I want to be able to resize it, so I can try, I can test out smaller resolutions in this monitor, um, because I don't have any uh, monitors that are smaller than this. So all I need to do is go into this setting. So you click on the project and you go down here and I believe it's the second one. Yes, it is. And you can see here that um, I've, I've fiddled about with these in a previous video to make it nice and full screen and everything, which has been really useful before, but I don't want to do that anymore. Um, so let's have a look and see what settings I'll need. Well, I'll probably need a heading um, and let's just test that now. So let's run application. And there we go. That's nice. And so now with the heading, what I can do is I can resize it to whatever resolution I want. And it's that simple. You just need to add a heading to it. Now I could add a menu bar, so I could reinstate these, but I don't. I don't want. I don't want to use the menu in my application. Like it's nice to have those for actual applications but because it's a game you don't often have those in games anymore um, so if I was building an application the menu bar would be really useful um, I don't necessarily want it to be maximized on boot up because I know that um, I know that it will be this size anyway because I've said that it's going to be uh, was it 1920 by 1080 um, by default like the window but I could um, halve that um, which, what's that, half of 1800 and 900, so it would be 950, 960. So I could make that 960 by 540. It's a bit of quick maths. Yes. And there we go. Could make it that size, and then I could just resize it later on. But you can see that, actually because of that, it's made the frame, like, um, <laughs> the frame not match that at all and we'll we'll fix that later on um, so that's not going to be too much of a problem but then what I can do now is I can just open it up and quickly test it now for the rest of this week like at the moment this looks rubbish because it's not doing anything it's just it's like it's just living in that space and it's not reacting to anything I'm doing so I'm making it bigger 
but it doesn't really do anything. And if I make it too small, like you can't even see the character anymore until they're at a certain point. Um, so that's not very good at all. So it's just, and so if I go up, up too much, if I make it, if I shrink it and I go up to the top, they just kind of disappear, even though th they've not disappeared, but they look like they've disappeared. So this is kind of step one and just having it kind of in that little box is actually quite helpful to remind you, right, hang on, you, you've got to make sure this works in different resolutions rather than just make it go full screen the whole time. And it just kind of forces you to just stretch it out a bit and just double check everything and make sure everything is what you want it to do. Um, so, uh, like, I think for for me with this series, it's been helpful to show it full screen because it looks nicer and it's a bit more kind of visually uh, appealing to look at. But for development, I would definitely say have it as a window because then that's, especially if you want to support mobile phones and tablets and stuff, that's a really good kind of way of making it really obvious straight away that it's not going to support them. And you'll see this week that the whole process will be us stretching this out and testing it. But we haven't done the next few videos, so at the moment it doesn't really work at all. But it will. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. We release videos every single weekday at 7pm UK time. Thank you.